Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. There's been a lot of questions being asked, specifically last evening during my live stream, about QImage Ultimate and its on-clock tool. How do you set it up? What colors do you choose? Do you use all of the colors or only those present in the printer? What about exercising your printer using that tool? What about using it to actually unclog channels that may be clogged or partially clogged. Let's go ahead and explore that right now. As you can see, I have the newest version, I believe is 1.10 of QImage Ultimate 2019. And so we're gonna go ahead and look at the unclog tool, file and print schedule unclog jobs, purge sheets. So when you click on that, you will arrive at this particular window here. Now, keep in mind that I am using a Pro 100 at this point. This is the printer that I am currently using. It is set for Photo Paper Pro Luster at this point, and we'll discuss what the driver settings should be when you try to perform one of these functions here. Now, if you're simply scheduling it to exercise your printer every few days while you are away on vacation, then you can go ahead and check all. This is a recommendation by the author of QImage. He basically says to check them all and to then set up your schedule. You can use a full page or you can use a half page. Full page will simply use more ink. Half page will use about half the ink. Basically, it reduces the size of the perch sheet that is generated. Let me show you what that looks like. If you queue it up, you see that it is simply this very interestingly designed set of lines, varying widths. Some of them are very thin, some of them are thicker, and these here are literally bands of color. And because I chose every single color that the Unclog tool provides you, everything has been demonstrated here. And how do you go about to print this? Let's just say you set it up for two to three days, every two to three days. You will simply go here to the scheduling page and set your schedule here, beginning, say, today at 10 a.m. and every three days or every four days or every five days, whatever you want to do, or literally every so many hours. We're not going to delve into that too much. There are videos put up by QImage on the QImage site on YouTube, and they discuss exactly all of the different settings that you can use to set your scheduling. We simply want to show you guys how to set this up. So for the sake of just having a slightly clearer display here, we're gonna choose full page and there you go. So if I print this right now, it will be printed with color managed workflow. So these colors will be very accurately depicted. We really don't want to do that in this case. What we really want to do is exercise those channels as independently as possible. See, if we choose color managed workflow, it will composite whatever it needs to composite, for example, to print orange. Now, if you have a printer like the P600 or the earlier R2000, you already have orange ink. So you don't want to composite that color. And in order to prevent that compositing from taking place, you cannot prevent it 100%. It's going to happen. But you are more likely to use the pure colors that are offered in your ink palette for that particular printer if you simply turn off color management. So we'll just hit properties. That takes us over to the Pro 100 driver preferences. We're going to go and click on color intensity, manual adjustment, matching, and none. All right, after the fact, I forgot to mention something important about QImage. In order for you to print absolutely with no color management, you have to also set a certain setting in QImage and you have to go here to let the printer driver manage color, click on that and set it to off and then accept it as yes. So once you do that, then neither will the driver be controlling color and neither will QImage be controlling color. So keep that in mind. I forgot to mention that during the filming of this video. Now, another thing that we need to do is make sure that we're not printing on just regular plain paper. You will be printing physically on plain paper, but your paper choice has to be a photo paper. And then we're going to use the highest quality available. So luster, glossy, semi-gloss, whatever you have in your mind, just go ahead and choose that. High, okay, and then go ahead and print. 
by choosing a high quality that means dots per inch it will be the maximum printing resolution your printer driver can produce and you will more than likely exercise your printer more efficiently do not use your regular fast mode use the slowest mode possible with the highest printing resolution you can actually choose let's jump over to an epson printer and here we go we have the p800 now chosen again we're just going to go ahead and pick a photo paper in this case i'm printing on ultra premium presentation matte because i have that particular printer right now set for matte paper again off no color adjustment it'll probably be set to epson standard srgb you want to make sure you change that over to no color adjustment and in your print quality setting max quality all right so that will exercise that printer to its maximum and so that way you you know you will actually more efficiently perform that job while you are away every two to three days now let's go back and do something a little bit different say for instance you run a nozzle check and you find out that maybe magenta or photo magenta is not printing properly you have a few lines missing on an epson printer you will see it demonstrated as lines on a canon printer except for the higher end ones you will see it demonstrated as a band and you might see missing lines between throughout that whole band we're going to go ahead and uncheck all so if it's just magenta you're going to choose magenta when you queue it up your perch sheet will only be populated by magenta and you go ahead and print that now down here you have other colors being populated but basically your your main color that will be exercised will be magenta and remember to use the highest quality on the driver and a photo paper not regular plain paper let's choose another color what if we have cyan and magenta not printing or say yellow and magenta not printing Choose those two colors and those two colors only. There is no need to exercise the rest of the colors. Only choose the ones that need to be exercised. Here we have magenta and yellow represented. All right, so that's basically it. That's how you set that up. Again, while you're on vacation, assuming all of your channels are cleared, you simply want to exercise the printer. You're going to choose all colors. Or if you wish, you can choose only the colors that are represented in your printer, your particular printer. It doesn't really hurt to choose all the colors in this case. Either or will work just fine. Set it for whatever number of days you want it to print. And when you come home, your printer will be exercised, happy, ready to roll, more than likely 100% nozzle check. If by chance you run a nozzle check, which you should do prior to any print job, check to see which colors may be missing a little bit and then set that up individually choosing that particular color. There is no point in printing the whole array of colors if only one of them is the one that you need to affect. So that is it. As you can see, it's relatively easy to set up. It's a really effective way to selectively exercise a channel that may need a little help rather than doing a cleaning cycle, which will then affect all of your colors. So by doing this, by choosing only the one single color or two or three maybe even that you need to exercise, it will only affect those channels and it will affect them about 80 percent you really need a rip software to be able to absolutely isolate one channel okay you're going to get a certain degree of compositing to create those colors but by choosing the system that i just described to you that is no color management in your driver and choosing photo paper and highest possible quality setting, you will exercise that channel the most effective way. All right, so that is it. Thank you so much. Remember, QImage Ultimate is a fantastic tool to use for all of your printing needs. And in fact, it has so many options that I haven't even delved into the majority of them. The upresting algorithm, the sharpening algorithm is just superior to just about anything that I have come across. So I highly recommend it. All right. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Happy printing, everybody. And bye-bye.